Hello, print cesses, and welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. Today we have two new products from two of my favorite makeup houses. We have some eyeshadow looks today from Burberry to look at, and new lipstick from, oh, none other than Hourglass. I'm so glad to have you here. Don't forget that you can also follow my content over on Instagram, TikTok, and on Threads. But we have enough to do here. In fact, we have a lot to do here covering these two separate brands. Please make sure that you look down below if you're in a hurry for any sort of timestamps that you might need. You can follow them down below the screen or in the description bar in case you just want to see one product or one shade choice over another. But I would love to have you stay for the whole thing. We're going to have a lot of fun today. Let me tell you what we're going to be looking at. First of all, Hourglass released oh a few seasons ago um, 21 shades of their satin cream lipsticks and they are some of, along with Prada, uh, some of my favorite lipsticks ever released. Traditional lipsticks, not necessarily the longest wearing, but they don't evaporate either. Um, not necessarily transfer proof, but they don't come off really easily. Just really nice lipsticks. And they have now released uh, that same unlocked lipstick, but in soft matte. And there's 12 shades of it for $38. Everything Hourglass is a pretty penny, I agree. And I picked up the shade Tulip. I just picked up one shade because I wanted to see how it performs. And we're even going to be able to do a little wear test of it. Actually, we're about an hour into that wear test now with the shade Tulip, which you'll see a little bit better uh, in the swatches. We have lots of swatches coming up and in the demo. But Hourglass makes a good lipstick, whether it's a gloss, whether it's a liner. You know, they had that Shape and Sculpt lip liner out. That was $29. Uh, that has, I think, like seven shades. That's the best lip liner I've ever used, if you've never tried it. That's a great one. Um, their lip products are wonderful, Hourglass. And, you know, they get... So much talk about their powders, but no one really talks about their lip products, and they are phenomenal. Um, this one, I'll, I'll tell you, being no exception. And then we're going to spend the bigger part of our time together today talking about some new Burberry eye quads. So Burberry in the past has done some bigger eyeshadow palettes, and I admit they have been some of my favorite releases in the past few seasons. I tend to side eye luxury brands who creep into the beauty sphere. I always think they're just trying to make a quick buck. Christian Louboutin, I'm looking at you. Yes, I picked up the foundation and we'll be looking at it soon. But I do tend to side eye it. So it took me a minute with Burberry, but their foundation just wowed me and their eyeshadows have never let me down. So it was a bit of a bummer when we didn't get a holiday palette from them. And a, there was a lot of talk, a lot of gossip that maybe Burberry wasn't going to. They were falling behind. There was trouble um, at the head office, so to speak. And then, oh, look at that. They gave us four new eye quads. I picked up two of the four. They are $62 each. Sorry, can't get them all. Trust me, I wish I, I, wish I could have. Um, there was a, there's a, a caramel shade and a kind of a honey shaded quad that I didn't get. I'll tell you what I got. Number three, blush beige, I thought was really pretty. And I got number four, uh, midnight, which I also thought was super pretty. Really, really pretty. Um, and we're gonna put those on today and talk about them. Let's look at the packaging first. Um, with this Hourglass, beautiful packaging, of course, if we take a look at that packaging, it goes in and comes out, and then this pops right back on there magnetically. It's really kind of cool, geometric, typical of Hourglass. And these Burberry palettes, they are very simple, but super, super elegant. They call it their signature compact. It says Burberry here, clicks shut, Nice mirror inside, beautiful gold on the outside, and the quad. Each one consists, uh, comes with, I should say, a little brush that is quite useful. It's a brush on one side and a little kind of padded 
uh, applicator on the other side, really nice for travel, um, definitely will work for you in a pinch. The thing about these palettes is they are very, very basic. Let me put in, I did right before I filmed and messed them up with all my swatches and stuff, I went ahead and wanted to show you the texture better. I don't believe I really saw this texture in the photos on the Burberry site and the photos I've been seeing. So take a look at mine before I touched them. They have a really nice, almost like tweed, Burberry type quality to them. And you can see how creamy they are. You know, obviously, Burberry has top-notch photography. And obviously, I don't. But their top-notch photography made these, I think, look a little dry and boring online. I wasn't excited about them. I picked two of them up, kind of thought, well, I'll review them. I wasn't excited, especially after the big holiday palettes that I have really loved. I was not excited about these, but look at them close up in my photos and you'll see there's something there. And I will tell you right now, these shocked me. They're so lovely. They are a little bit every day. I was gonna say boring, but that is so unfair because no matter how much our attention is just wow with purples and reds and sparkly blues, what do you reach for every day? I mean, granted, if you have a lot of electricity about you and fashion flair, I, that's amazing. But most of us on the daily really need something like this that's easy to put on, reliable and pretty. These are creamy without being oversaturated. They're buildable without going muddy. I'm already doing the review and we haven't even done the demo, so I suppose I should hold my horses and show you the swatches first. So first of all, in studio lighting, I want you to take a look at these swatches. On the left, obviously, is the Blush Base number three palette. We have our little hourglass tulip shade in the middle there just to break it up. And then on the right is the Midnight uh, 04, or number four Burberry Eye Quad palette. These are lovely, lovely. Don't fall asleep. I know they're very, very neutral, but they're so reliable and beautiful. Now I want to tell you that these next swatches will be outside in the warm California sunshine. Since it's a bit of my tagline, I suppose I'll use it, but there's nothing about these that's outdoor or sunshine. First of all, um, Everything was late, so by the time I'm getting to this portion, I'm doing it at night. And second of all, if you haven't seen in the news, poor little California is being battered by some storms. Will we ever survive? It's just some rain. Oh. Um, so we have a little bit of darkness anyway. So you are going to see them in the warm California sunshine that is actually the simulated natural daylight in my bathroom. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, but I did try to get up nice and close on those two palettes for you to be able to see them really well. The three blush beige and the four midnight with the tulip new hourglass soft matte lipstick, just dividing them there in the middle. All right, I wanna go to the demo now, try both of these palettes on and of course apply the lipstick with you guys on camera and then talk about it and do a little wear test as well. But first, please look down and make sure that you are subscribed to this channel. I need everybody's help in making sure that this channel gets out to the most people it can and you clicking subscribe or making sure you're still subscribed uh, would really help me. So I'd appreciate that. All right, um, let's play with some makeup. Be right back. Okay, I did my base. The most relevant, newest Burberry foundation, which I really do absolutely love. Um, we're gonna start, let's put on a little bit of this Hourglass Soft Matte Lipstick. I'm, I haven't tried it, you guys, and it's been sitting here. And I have to tell you, the satin cream, I mean, I just love it. So let's see what we think. As you know, this is the shade Tulip, and I thought I would purchase it, try it with you guys, and then see if I should get more shades. I mean, not too far in the distant future is that Sephora sale, so let's try Tulip. Hmm, that's a pretty pink. It's a coral pink. It's a little bit like a pink that, that Charlotte used to do. Remember when all of Charlotte Tilbury pinks were orange? Before this previous release, of course. Oh, that's pretty. You know, 
cannot tell you how many of you guys I speak to who tell me, I just can't do matte lipsticks, Rebecca, I can't. Some of these that are calling themselves soft, matte, you know, um, we see this in the Prada lipsticks. Uh, I have a Prada video coming, like a little follow-up Prada, fun with Prada video coming. And we see this with the new Charlotte Tilbury, even her matte revolution, and these. You know, if you blindfolded me and put this on me, I would tell you it was not a matte lipstick. We're really continuing to evolve this ingenuity with the product. So this is definitely looking matte, but I'm telling you, like I said, if I were blindfolded and you put lipstick on me, why would you do that? But you know, for the sake of argument, I wouldn't be able to tell you this is a matte lipstick. So if you've avoided matte lipstick for reasons of comfort, there's quite a few you wanna try. This is a really, really, pretty one and I'll wear it uh, the rest of the day today and then we can see how it wears too. I bet it's going to wear better than some of the creams. Okay, um, I do not have any sort of eyeliner or mascara on because we're going to look at two palettes and I'm going to do uh, both eyes in each palette rather than an eye and an eye. We have time stamps now. You know, I don't have to be so careful with my time. And uh, it does need the mascara and the eyeliner, I know, but if I just scrub off eyeliner and mascara, it really does irritate my eyes when we're doing more than one palette, so forgive me. Okay, let's give a start out here with this number three palette, the Blush Beige. I'm going to take out the included brush, which doesn't look like a bad one, but I would rather use my Sonia G brushes. So here is one, and we're going to start with this. Again, we're going to do both eyes. Minus, unfortunately, the benefit of mascara and eyeliner, which every eye look does need. So, so far, you know, wow, I don't think the pictures did this justice. They looked so dry in the photos. Uh, make a comment down below if you thought that. I looked at the photos and I thought, you know, they looked kind of like dry, old-fashioned eye, eyeshadow, right? Okay, same brush into this shade right here. Um, and I'm going to put that into the crease and just above it in... Uh, kind of rounded motions there, circular motions. Yeah, I thought, oh, that doesn't look good at all. That doesn't look like the creamy shade. I don't think they did it justice with their uh, website photos, which is interesting because it's Burberry. Um, in general, obviously it's on purpose, but in general, I don't think their website is very flattering to their products, honestly. Same shade that I just used. I'm gonna run it under just a little bit, not too, too much. And then I'm going to go into this darkest shade here. I know we still have that really pretty peach shade. And I just kind of want to put that into the outer corner, this darkest brown shade. That's really pretty. Loving this lipstick. Figured I would. I, and again, you guys, I'm not usually a matte lipstick wearer either. But I'm liking it. Isn't that pretty? Okay, and then I'm going to flip this same Sonia G uh, Lotus brush over and go into this really pretty coral shade all the way onto the eye. And these are really nice satiny shades. You know, these are nice because they're a nice cross between kind of a shimmer and a matte. Um, they kind of function as a matte, but uh, they have a little bit of uh, movement to the shadow. You are going to have to use your imagination as if I had eyeliner and mascara on, but I think you're capable of doing that. That is a very, very pretty, useful palette. Super creamy, but really light and buildable shades without them being powdery. The other day I was playing with the um, Smashbox face, face palette, and a lot of you told me in comments that you saw the poof of the powder. I was saying that's just because it's you know, it's finely milled powder, but a lot of people are like, I don't care. I don't want my powder poofing up. So this is kind of the um, the look and it works like a transparent powder would, but, but it's kind of creamy and doesn't produce any sort of powder poof um, in the same way kind of a cream shadow would work, like Natasha Denona or such, without having the intensity on first application, which I actually think is kind of cool. Um, I think that's a good way to describe it. They're rich and creamy, but they really apply very subtly, kind of like a powder. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to leave this lipstick on. It's very pretty and very comfy. Um, and I'm going to take off this eye makeup. Then we'll come back and give this smokier number four palette the benefit of the doubt. 
with mascara and eyeliner, but I'll also have been able to give a little bit of a wear test to the lipstick. So we'll, I'll see you in, well, for you guys, pretty much one second. Okay, we're ready to do the Burberry number no. four Midnight Palette, but before we do that, let's take a moment to talk about this hourglass lipstick. It's been about three hours, and you know what's kind of nice about it? I'm wearing the tulip shade. What's kind of nice about it is that when I press my lips together, I can kind of refresh it, if you know what I mean. So when I do this, I feel it kind of invigorated, like it gives it a little bit new life and it's not moving. I'll tell you, whether it is the soft matte or the satin cream, these are beautiful lipsticks. Granted, they're a little bit pricey. They're worth it. If you're a lipstick fan, I really love this. And like I said, if you haven't tried matte, um, try it again. This is incredibly comfortable. It's only about three hours, but I just feel like it keeps refreshing. It's not supposed to be transfer proof. It's not supposed to be like eight hours wear or anything like that, but I think it wears very well and is exceedingly comfortable. Okay, let's go ahead and delve into our Midnight Burberry palette now. I um, got some fresh brushes, obviously, but they are so nidgy again. And like I said, this time we do have some mascara on first, so my order might be a little off. Let's go ahead and go into this really beautiful kind of um, bone shade, I guess I could call it, ecru shade. I'm gonna concentrate that because of its satiny quality onto the inner corner of the eye. Uh, I feel like a broken record. Um, I say this all the time, but we have new people here all the time. I leave the artistry to you guys. I'm not saying that I'm inept with putting on makeup, because I'm not. I'm gonna go into this shade here. Um, but I would say that uh, I am definitely a, an editor, a fashion and beauty writer for magazines who's now found herself on YouTube. Uh, so I'm not a makeup artist, I interview them, I try to copy them, sometimes really well, sometimes not so well, uh, but I am not a makeup artist. I look up to them, that's for sure. So I'm, I leave the artistry to you guys, and really what I do, I'm gonna go into this darkest shade here, is I just experiment with the textures and I experiment with how uh, they perform and how they last. Um, and I know I say that all the time, but like I said, there's always new people who haven't heard it. And I think it's important they do. If people think I'm a makeup artist, um, they're gonna be confused because I am not. I'm an expert of a different sort, I like to think, right? Okay, let's get this on there. Sorry, I know that's boring if you've heard it a million times. What a pretty eyeshadow palette. I didn't even know if I was attracted to this one before. What a pretty palette. Okay, so we have three of the shades. What if I take um, a new brush here? Let's, this black shade is kind of a liner shade, but I just wanna know, uh, I'm gonna just emphasize the crease just a little bit here. Ooh, this is a, oh, this is my favorite. I actually like this better than the other because I think it's a little bit more unexpected. Taking a totally clean brush and just kind of mellowing out the lines there. Okay, well, what do you guys think? Isn't that a pretty eyeshadow palette? And you know, they, gosh, they look boring in pictures, but in practice, these are useful easy to use, really pretty shades with very simple but extremely sophisticated color stories that are very useful, elegant. That's a great word for it. These are elegant palettes. Um, they're not startling, they're not editorial. They're elegant. They're basics and kind of neutrals, uh, but there's every sort of neutral look you could, you could ask for. If you are um, needing to look professional, put together and you want something that's never gonna fail you, these are absolutely lovely palettes. They're not the most exciting and we are attracted to things that are very exciting and blue and colorful. Even the Chanel I reviewed, the blue, everyone's like, wow! Or the highlighter with the blue flex in it, wow! But when you really just need to get put together, whether it's a PTA meeting, a business meeting, or anything in between, dinner out, these are not going to let you down. These are beautiful. I think Burberry does it again. Okay, yawn fest maybe, but what are you gonna use every day when you go out, every day? 
These are not going to fail you. And if you are a lipstick lover, do yourself a favor, try either these new Hourglass Soft Mattes or the, or the Satin Creams. Um, they're pretty much one of my favorite lipsticks. This and the Prada are my favorite old fashioned regular lipsticks, even more than Charlotte Tilbury. Shh, don't tell anyone. We'll keep it just between you and me. I like them a lot. All right, this is where you come in and this is what makes us a community. Tell me your thoughts. Uh, you know, were you expecting a bigger Burberry palette? Were you happy just to get something from Burberry at all? Let me know what you're thinking and has your mind changed since you've seen them, not just in those, frankly, awful, I think, website photos. Sorry, Burberry. You know, um, let me know your thoughts. And did you pick up any of these Hourglass new shades? Quite lovely. I want to know everything, so let me know. Don't forget to take this video and share it, like it, of course, subscribe. And I look forward to seeing all of you in the next video. Bye bye.